There are perfect conditions today for flying a kite. Good news for the dozens of enthusiasts from around the world gathered in Bedeck, Nova Scotia to mark the 100th anniversary of Alexander Graham Bell's experiments with kites. One particular kite was getting a lot of attention today. Global's Russ White was there. One, two, three, throw! Novice kite builder Amos Ladier of Toronto spent hundreds of hours making his first kite. It's a replica of the Tetras, a style Alexander Graham Bell experimented with a century ago. Ladier's first attempts at getting airborne were a bust, just like his hero Bell. No, his uh, kites were also notably unsuccessful. His were sort of an evolutionary dead end on the quest for flight and was soon overtaken by people like the Wright brothers. This is uh, paying homage to the, uh, the genius of Alexander Graham Bell. So few uh, people know that Alexander Graham Bell was a kite pioneer flying kites for 20 years and contributing to aviation history. The telephone made Bell's reputation, but he had a passion for aviation. He experimented with his own kites in the skies over the Bell Estates at Ben Brea. The kites that Dr. Bell built and flew here in Bedeck in 1907 played an important role in Canadian aviation history. It was just two years later that Dr. Bell applied the lessons learned from kite building and flying to construction of the Silver Dart, which made the first powered flight in the British Empire in 1909. Pictures of the Silver Dart in flight, as well as some of the kites Bell experimented with, are on display at the Bell Museum. He loved kites, you know, and uh, as any small boy loved kites, and you know, in many ways he was a small boy right up to the very end. He had that great sense of wonder that, uh, that propelled him on onward. Today's gathering attracted kite enthusiasts from Europe and the United States, as well as Canada. Uh, essentially, I've been a, a, a mad kite person for 15 20 years now and the opportunity to actually see ben bray and fly on the field that alexander graham bell first flew tetras on was too big a chance to pass up <laughs> it took amos Lightyear six tries to finally get his kite airborne today earning him a standing ovation russ white global news bedeck <laughs> Well, meteorologist Cindy Day joining us now with a look at our weather forecast. Before we get to the forecast, gorgeous day in Bedeck. Oh, wasn't it was almost beautiful? perfect for kite flying. I it think. was a little wind, but not yeah. too windy, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky at yeah. one point. It was just gorgeous. What beautiful kites! That telephone know, is absolutely. very cool.